What is good, Ninja? OJ over here from Player Essence, and welcome to the PE Nintendo Switch and Gaming News video. Today, we've got a lot of great topics to go over, mainly talking about Nintendo Switch stock bundles because Splatoon 2 will be coming out this week, and I know a lot of you Ninja out there are going to be waiting to see if you can pick one up at various stores. So we do have some updates across various North American stores as far as GameStop and Best Buy when it comes to that. Plus, we have a little look at the Atari box. Let's go ahead and get into this first. So GameStop will be restocking this Nintendo Switch system starting today through July 21st, just in time for the launch of Splatoon 2. GameStop is not providing any information to how many shipments they will be receiving as far as Nintendo Switch systems per store. However, feel free to contact your local GameStop for stock availability and that is very important guys make sure you are calling them you are asking them exactly when they're going to be getting it in how many they're going to be getting just let them know do not just walk in there and say okay well I'm just gonna wait here for a switch make sure you get into contact with them and that's how you're going to find out if you'll be able to get a switch this week but remember there will be restocks throughout the whole week now GameStop is probably going to be doing some shady stuff because they always do shady stuff when it comes to the restocks and when it comes to their bundles GameStop looks like they're only going to be having bundles to take advantage of customers. So that's one thing to take note of. Here are the configurations that you'll be buying or that you can buy from GameStop this week. So the Nintendo Switch Gray Joy-Con Multiplayer Fun Bundle for $459.99. It includes the Nintendo Switch Gray Joy-Con, Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Switch Racing Wheel 2-Pack, Switch Splatoon 2 Game Traveler Case, or you can get the Nintendo Switch Gray Joy-Con Kid Friendly Bundle, which is $479.99, and it comes with the Nintendo Switch Gray Joy-Con, Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Snipper Clips, and ScanDisc Ultra 64GB Micro SD Card with an Adapter, or you can have this bundle here, which is the Nintendo Switch Neon Joy-Con Must Have Fan Bundle, which is $499.99, which comes with the Nintendo Switch Neon Joy-Con, Splatoon 2, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Expansion, the digital expansion, plus Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So, if I was going to pick out of all these bundles here, I would say the last one would probably be your best bet, and that's pretty much how much I spent at the launch of the Nintendo Switch. I bought, like, Bomberman, I bought, uh, what was it, I bought Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I bought the big huge one the master edition so I actually spent more than that so if you don't have a Nintendo switch at this point um, I'd probably go with that last bundle if GameStop is your option to go to now this is a great time of the year to pick up a Nintendo switch obviously Splatoon 2 is launching that's going to be a huge game I talked about that a little bit in my last video Nintendo did say that they're going to be getting restocks and it seems like they're going to be restocking at GameStop throughout the whole week it's not just going to be like a one restock thing and they're all gone in that same day usually it's going to be pretty much from today all the way through June June 21st of Splatoon 2's launch, they're going to be constantly be getting stock in. Now, moving on to the next stock situation, we do have Best Buy. So if Best Buy is more your fancy, which I do recommend Best Buy over GameStop because you're not forced into bundles and you can kind of just pick and choose what you want. And they usually have a large variety when they get their shipments in. So if you have a Best Buy in your town, in your area, I would suggest going there. Now, Best Buy, however, will only have Switch stock on Friday, although I would call them and ask them throughout the week, sometimes Best Buy I the employees there are really dumb and the representatives sometimes they don't know video games so sometimes they are going to get stock in and before the launch of it like they did that with arms like two days beforehand they're like oh yeah we'll have stock when arms launches and then it was in there actually like two days beforehand so make sure you check with your retailers as far as best buy goes make sure you check it in every single day so here's what's going on gamestop of course is restocking the switch this week but also best buy will be restocking this week and in its ad they did show that off they said the console will be available on friday and of course that's really good timing because Splatoon 2 will be launching and right now it only applies to stores we don't know if it's going to be online but I'm guessing they're probably going to have some units online as well I doubt they're going to be able to meet demand though especially considering the next story that we have with what's going on in Japan but yeah they did advertise it off they showed the $299.99 Nintendo Switch and remember like I said this one you can do standalone unlike GameStop they're like forcing bundles on you this one you can pretty much just buy it and you can pick and choose what you want so if you only want Splatoon 2 Go ahead and try to get it at Best Buy. Once again, I've taken many snaps at Best Buy, and they do have systems. Usually when they get a lot, they get like 30, 40, 50, 60. Sometimes they even get more than that. So make sure you check out your local Best Buy. Splatoon 2, $59.99. Of course, Nintendo Switch, $200.99. It's all available on July 21st. That is this 
Friday. So look forward to that, guys. Splatoon 2 is going to be lit. Obviously, a lot of people are going to be purchasing that. <laughs> All these stories know that Splatoon 2 is going to be a huge game. Pre-order numbers are pretty good, especially in Japan. So what do you guys think about all this news here? Are you looking forward to finally getting a Nintendo Switch if you haven't got one? Are you looking forward to playing Splatoon 2? Let me know in the comment section below in addition to um, where you're going to go to buy a Nintendo Switch if you can. Also, um, we haven't gotten any word yet, but I bet Toys R Us and other retailers are going to have Nintendo Switch stock, Walmart. So just be on the lookout, guys, if you haven't got one already. All right, and we've talked about Switch stock issues, and yes, this is still continuing in Japan, but it's like reached an all-new level of crazy or insanity this week. We had people, seriously, in Japan, up to 3,000 people waiting in these crazy bingo lines in order to get a Nintendo Switch, or not even really bingo, but lottery lines is what they're being called and more than 3,000 people lined up however and yo <laughs> they only had 250 units they're only gonna have 250 units and 3,000 plus people were there so Nintendo can't even really meet demand when it comes to things as you're seeing here the line was insane and obviously you don't want to see this this is when it's got really bad before it was like 700 people you know 300 something people 500 but now it's thousands of people hopefully Nintendo can continue to get that stock out uh, 250 for one store is actually not bad allocation because this is just one location so 250 units for one location in Japan is actually really good no stores in my area get 250 units for one location store so I'm hoping Nintendo's going to have more of course throughout Japan this is not the only location that does these things but We'll see. 250 for one store is good. They have to just keep it going and obviously throughout the summer just try to see what you can do. We have that whole manufacturing thing with Apple and all that that's kind of holding them back. But I do feel that this is definitely good because people do want the Switch. It's not like the Wii U where people didn't want it. You never saw this on the Wii U at all. So you're seeing this with the Nintendo Switch. And I think that they're going to continue to sell very well, of course, throughout the rest of the year. And obviously the system is going to be a success at this point. You're seeing this type of demand right here. All right, and moving on to the last article here. The first look at the Atari box, Atari's new console. So Kotaku AU got a newsletter from the Atari box team and here is what they had to say when it came to the system. Our objective is to create a new product that stays true to our heritage while appealing to both old and new fans of Atari. Inspired by classic Atari design elements such as the iconic use of wood, ribbed lines, and raised back, we are creating a smooth design with ribs that flow seamlessly all around the body of the product. A front panel that can be either wood or glass, a front facing logo indicator lights that glow through the material, an array of new ports, HDMI, 4 USB, SD. We intend to release two editions, a wood edition and a black slash red edition. As you can guess, those ports suggest modern internal specs. It also means that while we will be delivering classic gaming content, we will also be delivering current gaming content. We know you are hungry for more details on specs, games, features, pricing, timing, etc. We're not teasing you intentionally. We want to get this right. So we've opted to share things step by step as we bring Atari Box to life and to listen closely to our Atari community feedback as we do so. There are a lot of milestones, challenges, and decision points in front of us in the months ahead. We'll be giving you lots more of information and status updates as we progress. And we're thrilled to have you along for the ride. Hope you like where we're taking this. We'll be in touch soon, the Atari Box project team. I haven't covered it too much because I didn't know if this was even going to be real or not, but it definitely seems like it could be real. I mean, or it could turn out to be the Phantom. Who knows? If you guys don't know the Phantom, look up the story on that system and actually what ended up happening to it. It was kind of all smoke and mirrors, and I don't think they'd be doing this with this Atari Box. Obviously, Atari is a name that's been known. They used to rule the gaming world at one point before Nintendo came and kind of saved everyone. So I would be somewhat interested in this although obviously you need to know the specs and all of that but it looks like they're going to have some type of like retro gaming type of uh, device download service maybe you pay a certain price you can get all these atari games streamed straight to there or downloaded straight onto there doesn't really seem like there's going to be any type of physical media based on what they've said now of course that could still change 
like you said, there's still decisions, community feedback. There could still be physical media, but I think for what they're probably going for, as far as the specs and as far as the fastness of the system, the HDMI ports, all that, it might be a digital only system. And that could work. It definitely couldn't be a bad thing. That could work, but the price needs to be right. And I know publishers, if this device is an x86 or if this device is easy to port to, developers might even get on board all digital. You can just kind of put it out on there, but it definitely needs to be very on par or very similar specs wise to what you're seeing with the other systems or extremely easy to port for a lot of developers to support this thing but we'll see we'll see atari has a legacy they have a heritage it's a very different market than it was you know at that point as it is like today but at the same time i mean if they're looking at feedback they're trying to make sure that they get this one right then all power to them like don't rush out there don't say it's going to have this 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 and this and then all of a sudden you end up with a system that's 600 or 700 dollars or you're going to say it has this 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 and this and then that system ends up not having it due to technical problems due to money due to whatever the case is so do it step by step reveal what you can I like that they say hey it's going to be classic it's also going to be modern the internal specs are going to be more modern so they're giving us some information showed off the design of it two different versions of it as far as the black and red or you can go with the wood finish and I'd definitely be down to check this out. Obviously, um, I want to see what this is all about. I didn't necessarily grow up with Atari, but I knew of the name. And I was around really as far as playing games like when the Jaguar was announced and all that. But I never had one. I played it, but I never had one. This system turns out being good. That's definitely going to push Microsoft and Sony and Nintendo. So yeah, definitely. I would like to see this thing succeed. And hopefully, they can have a successful launch. And it'd be a good system as far as having another one in there. We lost Sega, but hey, maybe Atari can fill that void. All right, guys. Guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Go ahead and check out the links in the description below. We've got Facebook, we've got Twitter. Go ahead and check us out on our social media. It really helps to spread the content of Player Essence across the interwebs in addition to YouTube. Also, make sure you check out our Patreon page, pledge any tier, be entered in to win some awesome prizes each month. In addition to that, we also have Discord, voice chat, and $10 prized eShop tournaments for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Splatoon 2, ARMS, and so much more. Support PE Live and PE Arena right here on Player Essence. Also, make sure you hit that like button if you did like this video. It lets me know you guys want more cards like this going forward in the future. And subscribe to Player Essence for the latest news, reviews, discussions, and more. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you, Ninja, for the next video. Peace.